How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man back here with another car mechanic simulator video. In today's video, guys, I've been I've had this sitting around the garage um, for a couple videos now, and I've been like itching to work on it. It is a 1967 Chevrolet Impala. So I don't know why I'll show you guys this. It says Impala Baby. I don't know what that I don't know what that really means. Uh, if you guys know, leave a comment down below letting me know. Uh, cause I really don't know. Um, I picked it up in the junkyard. As you can tell, like, I think I post the thumbnail should be, should be the junkyard picture I got of it. Um, in the junkyard, completely trashed. Obviously it's, it's a 67. So what it's, a, <laughs> it's like 50, 53 years old now. Uh, yeah. So it's, uh, it's seen better days. Needless to say, um, get one more barn find there. Okay. So we're going to be fixing this up in today's video. We're going to be making it look nice, um, do the suspension, tires, um, all that stuff. We're going to be restoring it back to stock, guys. So this is going to be a stock restore. Uh, it's a single car V8 in there. Um, pretty classic, uh, normal, I guess. I don't really know what more could be in there. It's pretty bad condition, though, as you can tell here. 12%, 13%, 24%, 100% condition somehow. It doesn't even have windows, but it's perfect condition inside i'm not arguing i'm not arguing um yeah that's pretty crazy uh but i don't know if i would say 100 percent. it's got some weird spots in there but let's get started let's uh get this thing up in the air uh i don't need the interior detailing kit now <laughs> i guess since we're at 100 shift that over okay so first things first is i should do this i'll take off all the body panels all lights windows bumpers uh, you name it if it can be removed and it's exterior I will be doing so and then we gotta redo the suspension on this because these things are what they're, uh, they're notorious for I think people say driving like a boat is what I think I've I've heard quite often uh, and that and now bring it down to one yep all right so now lay this thing down with a nice coat and that's almost like a baby blue a little bit a little bit lighter a little bit lighter than a baby blue a little more sky blue but i like it that in the interior it matches pretty good i would say um i'm not a I'm not a hater i like it i like it a lot uh, all right so let me get all these panels restored bam done uh so let's add back all the panels we'll buy new windows um, i think i actually repaired every single panel i had about tail lights no no tail lights okay that's all right oh that didn't get repaired 13 percent too damaged i guess uh mirrors are already attached on okay i can roll with that hood's damaged bumper's not what about the front end here there is no front end dang it what about that one piece there's a piece inside there yeah, oh, I don't know how the heck I'm going to click on this. There we go. Rear left fender. It's like the front hood latch and radiator support is what it is right there. Okay. Is that all we have to put on here? It's 100. Uh, left headlight. Okay, so let's get the front end hood, right headlight. Community cars. So we'll just do 1967. Hopefully that should pop everything up we need. Yes. Okay. So let's get uh, all the windows really quick. I'll do that first. Get those all out of the way. And grab that, that, that. And then we need the front end. I think we need the bumper too. We need the right headlight. I think we missed one or two things. Yeah, the hood was one of the things I missed. But other than that, it should be pretty close to being finished. Okay. And we need the rear, rear right door. Okay, so let's get hood and rear right door real quick. Hood, rear right door. And you know, I'm going to roll without the hood. Or without the, the hood for now. Yeah, yeah, we'll roll without the hood. Actually, no, I'm going to paint it. I need to put the hood on. What am, I, what am I thinking? I would say I'd leave the hood off if you're going to be working on the car. Um, obviously, it's going to be a lot easier to get in and out of the engine bay, but... You're not going to be going in and out of the engine bay because we're not going to be doing the engine quite yet. I also need the rear bumper. Wow, I missed a lot. All right, rear bumper. There we go. And I'm going to be, I'm just going to be recoding it and what it has on here, guys. Um, I'm going to go and check 
Uh, I guess probably not right now, but later I'm going to go and check and see what the uh, suggested paint is from 67, see what the manufacturer's paints were. I'll see if any of those paint codes match what this is. Like, if it's close enough, which I'm assuming this color looks pretty pretty reasonable, um, if it's close enough, I'll keep it. Because I do like it. It is an interesting color. Um, I think we're going to do on some New Jersey plates. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to buy two in here. I like the the mods for the plates I have on, but some of them don't have everything. The New York state plates, though, absolutely incredible, super realistic. All right, you know what? I'll just throw that on for now. Finish it up. Should bring us to a hundred. Yes, sir. -y. All right, and now we will transfer this. Jeez, come on. Transfer this bad boy over to the paint shop real quick. Might as well paint it with the bad tires on there because we're going to be taking them off anyways. So, see if there any liveries by chance? No, didn't think there would be. All right. Nice metallic blue on there. It's all like if you have really white light on it, it looks pretty white. It's pretty close to white on there. Um, all right, let's move this back over to lift A. And now it's time to take the tires and the suspension out of here. So, we're going to be restoring these rims hopefully if we damage one and we can't reuse one we'll just buy a new one um, but the goal is obviously to reuse everything we can this is a restoration so i'd rather restore things than buy new um so obviously what i can keep i will what i can't i won't also i feel like this would have had front drum brakes on too I don't really know what the date is on calipers, how long they've been around for, but I feel like this would have been probably drums all around. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Do not know at all. Um, all right. So it looks like we got rear double leaf spring and the full cross member D up front. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go through, tear this all down, and then I'll be back with you guys once we're ready to like sandblast, repair, do all that stuff to this. Um, so I'm going to go through, tear this whole thing down real quick, and I will see you guys when we are ready for that next step. Alrighty, so I went through, I got everything that I think I needed, and we should be good to go. Uh, we'll start with the front here. I got it all turned down pretty quickly. Everything was in pretty rough shape, so I actually had to buy quite a few things. Dang, okay, so I need to get a front cross member D and the other thing, okay. But yeah, like I was saying, I, I bought a few things in preparation for knowing um that everything's gonna be trashed and obviously still didn't do good enough but it's okay all right i'll get all these rubber bushings on first um but in other news guys uh so today is friday and i don't know if it'll do it this friday or it'll be next friday starting um but starting friday we're, i'm gonna start doing a uh, farming simulator again um it's been a long time since i've played it and i've been really wanting to get back into it and record some stuff on it so I'm going to start playing that again. So I'm going to be doing uh, Farming Simulator Fridays. So I think we'll be putting out one, maybe two videos every Friday. Um, possibly them both being Farming Simulator. Um, but more likely them being one Farming Simulator, one Car Mechanic Simulator. So uh, don't worry, you're not going to be missing out on any CMS. But I will be starting to get into, um, like, a, it's just going to be a single solo player uh uh, series basically on I think it's Midwest Horizon is one I decided on I'm not sure but um, I thought I would uh, tell you guys that so any of you who are wanting to see that so there would be right yeah there you go I guess I need double wishbone shock absorber which I can go do in a minute here I don't need to do it right now where are those tie rods at why is it not letting me oh what the heck I just realized the tie rods and the <laughs> the tie rods in the steering rack are completely separate areas. Okay, that's that's interesting. That's all right though. This is a mod, so mods are quite usually not not in exactly a perfect working shape. But you know, it's all right. I'll take it. I still like it. Uh, well, let me click over here. There we go. I'm trying to get over here to this other steering knuckle. All right, so I haven't separated any of the... Am I really out of bushings? Wow. 
I haven't separated any of the tires from their uh, wheels yet, but I will do that after you get the suspension done. And like I said, we're just going to restore them. Um, no coloring, no nothing like that. Uh, hopefully they all are restorable. Um, I, I hope. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know, honestly. It's a big, big toss up. There's the front, give me the hubs, one hub, two hub, brakes, calipers, and we'll get the tie rods in next. Then once you finish this, I'm going to run over really quick and get the uh, shocks going. Okay, there we go. Let's get this, so shock, double wish one shock absorber, fronts. Two caps. Click that again. Mm -hmm. Spring. Front spring two. Okay. So we'll join these. Oh, looks like I had another set of front wishbones ready to go. Then while I do this, um, I can also separate those. The spring puller is actually super quick, so I can do quite a lot pretty quickly. Looks like those wheels are at 20% condition. That's not looking too hot then. 20% condition is usually going to be uh, um, showing that you're not going to be able to restore it usually. Basically, red condition is bad. Completely bad. Okay, give me that. Separate the next one. Ooh, that, that, the rim looked good, but the tire was bad there. All right. Get all these in. I like doing the leaf springs first. Just because leaf springs have, I think, the most parts on them. All right, there we go. Do I have any shock absorbers? No, I need another shock absorber B. Uh, shock absorber B. Uh oh. So rear shock absorber Bs. There they are. We got the housing still good. Awesome. All right, that side's good. We're not going to put the drive shaft on either, though. We're going to wait to put the drive shaft on because in the next video, we're going to be doing the full restoration on the engine and the engine bay. So I'll hold off on that one because I'm just going to have to take it off again to pull the motor in the first place. Okay, get these rubber bushings in. I'll get this entire thing done in uh, about five minutes. The entire, uh, not the entire car, no. The entire uh, suspension, though, done in about five minutes. At least put back together in five minutes. Okay, so we need a solid rear drive axle. Then we need two brake uh, ah, cylinders. I'll just type in cylinder and find it. I think, they, I, I think it's referred to as the slave cylinder. Ah, cylinder. Ah, oh, they call the drum wheel cylinder. Okay, okay. Got the drum casing. Nice. Oh, no. I love how this thing had a race tire. Maybe that's what the baby thing on it means. Maybe the baby was... I don't know. Maybe that made this Impala more of a race one. Or I'm not sure. I gotta go check the, uh, the Steam profile for this. And I can find out what it was actually supposed to be ran as okay the rims are not in bad shape yeah I was actually able to repair all three of those rims and this rims at like 38 so yeah all right awesome easy okay so we need 245 60 15 and we'll do 245, 60, 15. We're going to do some just normal. Uh, I guess it want, since it wants the race tires, we'll do the vintage race tires then. 245, 60, 15. That is expensive. Oh, my. That's with my discount, too. Okay, so we'll do this. I should probably go through and sell all the old, uh, yeah, let me sell these old tires really quick. Get these out of my inventory. There we go. I mean, this wants race tires, so we'll give it race tires. 
the rim retro ones at least I need to find all those extra rims I have okay these plus quality rims I don't need them just why I'm trying to get rid of them here get that installed where's the next one at I get that one out of there because those also mess it up when I try and paint stuff um, it'll try and paint these rims first, which I do not need at all. All right, let me pull this, bounce this. All right, there we go. I think this should be either the last or second to last wheel I'm about to put on here in a second. Last wheel on. Okay, let's get these bad boys on her so we can actually make this into a roller. And then, and boom, right away, it'll be, it'll be looking good at least. <laughs> it might not run yet, but we'll definitely get it running in next video. Oh yeah, those, those tires look, those tires look pretty good. The vintage, the vintage was a good, uh, a good choice because it gave, yeah, I really like the, the white walling, uh, uh, Jeez, what is it? The like tire marking, tire paint. I don't even know. I forget what they call them. Up over here. Alrighty, let me pop this down now. Move it over to the entrance A, and it'll put a. Oh, this thing is so nice. It's got that awesome old Chevy Chevy logo on it. Uh, where's the Impala logo? Oh, it's in the back here. Okay. The old Impala logo is on there. Chevrolet. Got the old Chevy. Like, old Chevy logo right there. The blue. Well, there we go, guys. Um, I still got to put the seats in there. But I'm not sure what type of seats we're running. Obviously, they have no headrest. Because I guess seats back then just didn't have headrests. Um, let's go for some leathers. We'll do these ones, unless it's a front bench seat, but I don't think it is. Actually, it should be a front bench seat, right? Yeah, it's a front bench. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Front bench. A tan leather bench. Um, it's got to be the old style, like this. Is this really the best I'm going to get is one of these? Hmm. And these are all. Wow, this is not going to work, is it? Okay. Well, then, on that note. I don't know what to use. Seat. Just give me all again. Give me them all. I feel like I'm gonna need one of these other seats. Okay, we'll give it a try for like this one or this one. See if it takes either of those. I feel like it's not going to. Yeah, it needs the front bench, which I don't have. Okay, let me just do, let me get the wheel first. The wheel should be good, should be pretty easy, yeah. Let's just go with a nice wooden, actually no, do, uh, uh, I'm not sure, do this one. That looks old. Okay. So then it wants a bench. I got to give it a bench. But if I scroll down, I need something that looks like that one. Something here. Uh, let's go with the TBX. Maybe the TBX bench will do it, do it for us. Um, hmm. <laughs> and no. Okay, here. We'll, we'll pull. What? Really? There's no... There's not... There's nothing in the back actually. I can't even pull anything out of the back. Well, dang, I'll be, I'll be. I don't know what to put in the front, guys. Um, I'll go through and mess around a little bit more to see if I can find out exactly what goes in the front by obviously by the next video. Um, but I'm not quite sure right now. But there we go, guys. There is the 1967 Chevy Impala. It's all uh, spruced up, ready to go. All we gotta do now is swap a new V8 uh, single carb in there. I think it was single carb, right? Uh, yeah, single carb in there. So we'll do that and then we should be good to run it in uh, the next video But there we go. Thank you guys for watching if you guys haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button If you like the video hit that like button 
and hopefully I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.